How can you call yourself a country boy if you've never been to the boot scootin', shootin', tootin' Tamworth Music Festival? <laughs> and who is Australian right to the very core? It's Avita Motorhomes and Caravans. And they are right there too with their boots on for the Tamworth Music Festival of 2024. And we'll meet up with them there. I admit this will be our first time there. And with 10 days, it's Australia's largest music festival and rated the top 10 in the world. So there you go. Mm. Let's hit the road and we'll see you there. See you there. See Bye. you there. <laughs> You can't get to Tamworth in one day. So I've had to stay, unfortunately, at the Summerton Hotel, which is about oh, 30 k's just shy of Tamworth. We've stayed at the, the back of this pub, it's free, and I just met Jason, the publican, who bought this hotel three years ago. It was declared bankrupt at the time, but boy oh boy, what a great job, Jason, you've done to this pub and the clientele that uh, has gathered here ever since, live music, great meals, etc. And that real Australiana countrified pub. Glad to be staying here actually. He's invited me in all through the pub. They're shut Mondays, today's Monday. But he's taken me through, showing me around. What a great job he's done. Anyway, it's nice to be here. I love these old school Australian country outback pubs. They're really cool. folks at the 52nd Tamworth Music Festival for 2024 we've made it look even if there's only a shred of Australian country in you then this is definitely the place you need to be we've just read all the itinerary for the next several days and it is so loaded with stuff to see you couldn't possibly do it all but we're gonna have some fun trying sure are. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
And this is Paul, he's the official meter and greeter for a VR. Uh, and we have uh, 25 motorhomes here, we're having a ball, they're all really good people and it's going to be a great week. Motorhomes, motorhomes, and more and more and more motorhomes. I'm like a kid in a candy store, and I'm with Michael from Melbourne. How you going, Michael? How do you do, Shannon? I'm very well, thank you. With the beautiful Avita Esperance, mate. How are you going with the festival oh, so far? The festival's wonderful. It's my first time to Tamworth. I've, I've had two events with Avita. One was at Bendigo, and they do a fantastic job in looking after us, like the owners of these beautiful motorhomes. So now I hear the sunny weather, and uh, the music's wonderful. Went to the big opening concert last night. Nice. Was a big crowd there, and everyone's just really enjoying themselves. So how long have you had your estimates for? I've just got this in September, so it's only four months old. Right. But it, it, I actually retired two years ago, and I had to wait 17 months to get this motor home, yeah. and that was the longest 17 months of my time, <laughs> I tell you. Excited? Uh, I, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. But in the end, uh, the wait was really worthwhile. Uh, this Esperance here, it's got everything that my wife and I need. She's not on the trip with me, but uh, not to worry, she'll be back next time. But yeah, everything I need, and it's the, and the, the beauty about Avita is that they have these um, experience uh, outings yep. where we get to be with uh, other owners and you pick up so much valuable information. And we've been doing a few little minor adjustments on my home even this morning before this, Shannon, mm -hmm. and uh, so good to have the experience of, of the well well-traveled travelers yeah yeah and look meeting like-minded people right because we all come here for a basically a common purpose and this is where you can meet lifetime friends common interests common personalities may i say and uh, i think this is what it's all about it's not just about the motorhomes it's not just about the event it's the people no, that, that's spot on because i said I've, I've come here on my own but knowing i'm here with what 25 other motorhomes shannon oh. Uh, so there's about 50 of us here all together. So you're bound to meet people who, who you, we all get on with each other. So it really is wonderful. And I, I can't wait for the next one, actually. I'm going to put my name down real quick to make sure I get on the list. So <laughs> Well, good on great. you, mate. Really yeah. nice to meet you, Michael. Right. And uh, we're only in the first early days of the festival. So let's keep on uh, kicking on. Keep on kicking on. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Thank you. Good on you. Rob and Donna are here with us in their beautiful Birdsville, also at the Avita event. How's it all going for you, mate? It's fantastic. And I'm, I must admit, this is the first time we've done one an event like this. Yeah. And uh, we have really enjoyed it. Good on you. Really have. Yeah. And it's a bit cliche uh, introducing someone by one's occupation. But Robert, for you, I'm going to make an exception here because this is fascinating. You are a senior animator with Walt Disney Studios. Walt Disney Studios, yes. Uh, very, very lucky job that I fell into. Sure. Uh, I could always draw at school. But I, uh, I was in a different job uh, way back then. I was in computers. Took a redundancy, then I saw this ad in the paper that just said, artists want it. And I thought, oh, I might apply for that. And it was with Walt Disney. And I worked there for oh my God. Oh, over 10 years. Became a senior animator. We worked on all the sequels to the major movies like Lion King 2 and Lion wow. King 3, Bambi 2. All of those, yeah. You lucky man. I'm and very so, good, lucky. I say this all the time, this isn't about us, this is about the people and the places. And I love meeting people from all walks of life. You are the first Disney animator that I will meet, I'm sure. Oh, probably the last two. You're, you're an interesting <laughs> fella. So you went to the festival yesterday. Yeah, what, went to the festival. Oh, fantastic. I've never been to the festival before. We walked up and down Peel Street. I loved all the buskers because I also play ukulele. So I was very interested in that. And I thought... Man of many hats. Sure, I could do that. <laughs> and uh, then I thought, I wonder if they have tap dancing buskers. Maybe I could do that. No, I wasn't going to do that. But loved it. Absolutely loved it. You're on you, mate. Yeah. Lastly, why the motorhome, mate? Why did you decide to go this way? The Birdsville? Yeah. 
we used to have a little pop-up trailer we had to wind up the sides and it, you know and it was just too hard we were getting a bit old to get underneath it was like caravan yoga hard work got sick of it so we decided <laughs> caravan, yoga. caravan yoga so we decided to get a motor home we thought <laughs> There's going to be no arguments. All you do is just back it in, set it up. We're done in about 10 minutes. I'm right, there, but right there behind you, mate. Look, yep. it's, as, as you probably know, it's motorhomes all the way for me. Yep. But good on you, mate. I love the Birdsville. I believe I it's do. probably their most popular model. Yep. Birdsville and the Esperance, I think it's those two. And the other thing, too, is my partner can drive it. Good on you. How good's that? You definitely won't get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> good well. on you, mate. Enjoy the rest of the festival and all really good. nice to meet you. You're such a character. And, uh, yeah, good on you, mate. Yeah, we'll no, see you out there. Stuff. All right, thank you. Bye. That's all folks, it's a huge thank you to Avita Motorhomes and Caravans for going through so much effort to bring all of this together. There's so much going on behind the scenes that you just don't get to see to make all of this happen. Also thank you to Austin Tourist Park Tamworth for your country hospitality. And from us to all of our fellow travellers, get on board an Avita event, meet like minded people, make lifetime travelling friends and get out there and put some serious miles on those motorhomes. So that's it from us. We're going to saddle up and hit the road. We'll see you next week. Hooroo. I'm heading for the station with a pack on my back. I'm tired of transportation at the back of the hat. I love to hear the rhythm of the clickety-clack and see the lungs of whistle, see the smoke from the stack. I pal around with democratic tailors, they max or them in my The only job
Filming me. <laughs>